Now here's my new clock. Um, it's powered by a laminar flow water jet and the water is then guided down onto this escapement wheel uh, which has a foam ring around it and the fact that the foam is absorbing the water on the heavy side if you like um, makes the whole clock run the weight difference between the the water jet side of the foam and the dry side is enough to make the clock run um, it's about 40 grams of weight which is plenty but I had to uh, bring the jet size down a little bit as you can see um, the rest of it is similar but not identical to my previous water powered clock and the whole thing is there you see um, it's running with a longish pendulum um, and there we go um, the water is held in the bottom of this C shaped or moon shaped tank and the rest is as we see it all mirror polished stainless steel with acetyl gears um, again I've gone for the single peg drive um, it's hard to see but there it's just engaging now this clock ticks um, with the escapement wheel rotating once every 30 seconds um, so from then on I had to make a two to one gearbox to get to the front set of gears which as everybody knows probably is 12 to one um, apart from that it's pretty cool the laminar jet is a two inch stainless tube with something like 200 straws of the small variety in it um, and the tube's all welded apart from the end cap which is um, fitted subsequently um, it's also got a light tube in it so that at night it pulses on every tick um, a flash of light through the laminar jet which looks remarkably good um, there we are from the slightly better side and the collector has a, a baffle in it to just to stop a bit of splashing but as you can see it's dry it doesn't splash um, interestingly because of that peg drive the minute hand moves half a minute every every 30 seconds if you see what I mean um, in one movement because um, the rest of the clock is motionless until that peg is driven and um, there we go very pleased with it it's uh, a big technical step to try and marry everything up but um, it works well